Hi friends, my name is Sydney Nitzgorski. I have a 10 minute full body workout for you. No equipment needed. This is all body weight. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. I love this kind of workout for myself. I do lots of body weight strength training personally. Um, we have six exercises. We're gonna do each one three times for about 30 seconds. So that totals nine minutes. So that other minute's just gonna be transitioning in between. It's gonna be continuous movement the whole time. If you need a break, take a break. If you don't, don't take a break. All right, let's start with an interim walkout to push up. I'm gonna hit both my stop watches. Here we go. Guess that didn't work. Here we go. Okay, walk it out. Push up can be full push up, or it can be modified on the knees. You're only gonna do a full push up if you can do a perfect full push up where your chest touches the ground. If you're not able to get to the ground, not to worry. You just drop your knees and get to the ground that way, okay? I'm such a stickler about good push-up form. I'd always rather see a modified push-up with good form than like a pulsing push-up like that, all right? Drop your knees when you have to. Come on down. We're gonna go right into a side plank. This is exercise number two. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Roll through the middle. Other side, squeezing every time. Make it really active for your shoulder blades. I know you could do this and just kind of throw your hand up there, but actively pinch. I have my feet glued together, stacked together. We're doing this for three more seconds. And then we're right on the back for a hamstring bridge. All right, so a hamstring bridge is just a little different than a regular bridge. Your feet are out further than it would be. Regular bridge, they're here. Hamstring bridge, they're all the way out here. We're just going up and down. Your hands can be flat like mine are, or digging down with the elbows. I feel this in my hamstrings already. I hope you do too. You'll notice if you bring your feet way in, it takes a lot of pressure off the hamstrings. You get a little more in your glutes and your lower back. But I love this because I want this to be a full body workout, and I think hamstrings get neglected all the time. Poor things. 10 more seconds only. If you wanted, you could always throw a ball between your knees for this one. I like doing that, but I wanted this to be truly no equipment needed. All right, flip it over onto your belly, lower back exercise and upper back scapula. We're doing a superhero pull down. So forehead touches the ground, don't mind the hat. Everything comes up, elbows pull down with the shoulders being as low as they can. And then we retrace our steps. <sighs> Exhale, inhale, down. If this feels like too much on your lower back, you just hit a child's pose for a quick moment and then get back into it. Sometimes you get those little muscles start to cramp up, those big muscles start to cramp up. Let's get one more in, and then we're standing up. We have a squat with a pulse. This is our first round, so let's do one pulse. We'll go one little pulse, stand up. You guys know that we have two and three rounds coming up, so we'll just increase our pulses with that. After this, we have a reverse lunge, alternating sides, and that's the six, and then we repeat them. So make sure you have beautiful, perfect squat form if you look at this from the side. Take a laser from your toe and just shoot it up. The knees never go past that laser, meaning they never do this. They never dip forward. Your butt is always sitting back. All right, that's it for that round. Start back with the interim push-ups. Take a nice deep breath. Go right into it. There's no rest in between these rounds because we're just here for a quick 10 minutes. If you need a rest, go on your back. Do some transverse breathing where you pull your belly button in or some crunches and then rejoin or just modify when you have to. Drop the knees anytime you feel like your push-up is uh, suffering a little bit in form. This is going to be my last one, your last one too. Beautiful. From here, go right into that side plank. Pinch. Bring it through. Squeeze the glutes as you're doing this. It's easy or it's understandable to relax a little bit on the lower body because you can just kind of let them fall along. But don't, the more you squeeze your muscles, the more they're working, the stronger you get. Beautiful, make that the last one. Go right into those bridge, the dynamic bridge for the hamstring. Good. Knees are pretty close to each other. 
feet are far from the butt. That's what makes the emphasis on the hamstrings for this one. Pinch the shoulder blades, dig the elbows down. When I work with somebody in person and they're doing this, I come over and I grab their wrist and I try and pull up. And the goal is you don't let me pull your hand up because you're digging so intensely into the ground. You do it in a really nice way. Three, two, one, stand up, squat with, oh, sorry. Flip it over, superhero pull downs. Thank goodness I have my board there to remind me. Almost skip these guys. We're about halfway through the workout, friends. One and a half rounds done. One and a half to go. When you do this, right here, make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up. Pull them down. Pull the elbows down. Don't let them rotate up. Get two more in. And then we stand for squats. All right, I was excited about doing squats. Ah. All right, two pulses. One, two, stand. Pulse, 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 stand. So in terms of form here, if you're getting any knee pain, see if you can cut yourself off before the knee pain and just make them more shallow. I don't mean quad pain, this hurts my quads. That's fine, that's muscles. <laughs> knee pain in the joint, that I want you to avoid. One more, and then go right into those reverse lunges. Front of the mat, reverse. Just alternating. Your goal here is not to be in one line. Your feet are parallel to each other like railroad tracks. They're close, but they are not in one line. Let's get one more in on each foot. And then just find yourself at the back of your mat. Go right into those inchworm walkout push-ups. I can tell right there I just started to get slower. Like subconsciously, my brain is like, if I do this walkout slower, I have less push-ups to do. Try and speed it up. <laughs> you can lift your arms or keep them down. We have exactly three minutes left. We'll get through these six exercises and then we'll be done. Get one more push up and then go right into the side plank. Go right into it. Side plank, squeeze. If you want to add something for this last round, lift your top leg every time you come up. So hands up, top leg up. You don't have to, but just a little something. Get one more in on each side. And then onto your back. For the bridge. Hamstring bridge, I need a better name for this, a dynamic hamstring bridge. That's what it is, dynamic hamstring bridge. Go, um, speed these up a little bit, go a little faster. Again, think about your form. So you're in a neutral spine, so your lower back is not hitting the ground every time, just your hips are. There's that little natural curvature of the lower back, so you're maintaining that and the hips hit every time. Hands can be up. Or dig the elbows down. Let's go for three more seconds. Two, one. Flip it over for superhero pull downs. 30 seconds here. And I kind of just caught myself picking my head up. Don't do that. Keep looking at the floor again for that neutral spine so that my hat's definitely getting in the way. Your forehead should hit every time. And then you just stay looking at the mat. You're not craning your head up. There's no reason to do that. You don't need to see anything in the room. It's not that exciting. Get one more and then stand up. Squat with three pulses. Go for it. One, two, three, and stand. I'm gonna put a little speed on these. If you can match me, great, if not, Fine, if you want to go faster, great. We're halfway through, 15 in, 15 to go. And then one more exercise after this, and that's our 10. Go 
hopefully you can hear me breathing. If I was in the same room as you, you should absolutely, we should be able to hear each other. Big inhale, this is the last one. Exhale, go right into reverse lunges and you will be done in about 25 seconds with your 10 minute full body body weight. I love bodyweight workouts because you can do them anywhere, when you're traveling, if you're outside, if you just feel like getting into it, feel like the chances of injury are lower because there's no weight, not zero, but it's a little bit helpful. Three, two, and one. We're done. That was 10 minutes full body, bodyweight workout. Nice job, everybody. I hope to see you in a workout soon. If you feel like it, go ahead and repeat this workout. Please do subscribe and have a great day.